Hi folks, uh, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, and I know I promised something very cool today. Well, let's say lukewarm. Uh, uh, actually, last night I went ahead and I reinstalled good old Linux Mint on a brand new virtual machine. One of the great things about it. Yeah, I was bitching about it the other day when I did it. You know, it wasn't installing Chromium, and I couldn't get OpenShot quite where I wanted it. And uh, this time it went through flawless. Now, I did bump the uh, memory up to 3.5 gig, which leaves... About four and a half gig for Windows 10. Not a big deal. So we're going to record this video on the Axon M, of course, uh, from the front. And then uh, uh, the rest will be uh, screenshots, which I will record and then move over to Linux using... Uh, Whatever way I can figure out to get them over there. Uh, actually, I can take one of these things. Flash drive. I plug it in and bam, it's there. It's showing me the directory. Way quicker than Windows. As far as the video itself, this will transfer straight over. So let's get to the intro right now. All right, folks, here I am uh, recording in OBS Studio on Windows, of course, because uh, I haven't installed it into Linux yet, but I have got my Chromium working. I've got my OpenShot working. <coughs> <coughs> and <coughs> so we're going to just... Take a look at Chromium here. There we go. Now, you'll notice this looks an awful lot like Windows. Right, start menu here, even though it says Linux. Uh, and so let's say you want to go into Chrome, which is already open, incidentally. Boom, there's my Chrome, all my bookmarks. All my passwords, everything is there. Very, very slick. And, uh, oh, open shot. We're ready to do the video. The intro is already sitting here. You know, that I shot earlier. I'll combine that with this file from OBS Studio, which will be very small. And we'll put it out as a 720 video because I recorded off the uh, Axon uh, M at uh, 1080. Probably didn't need to do that, but oh well. And then we'll see how small it ends up being. So, overall, I mean, this is a you know, pretty cool deal here. Uh, let's see. We're going to change desktop background. Pretty simple. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to check that out for a second. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I got no pictures right now, so. Ooh. Eh, a lot of them there. I'm going to go with this uh, right here. Oh, yeah. I like it. Boom. 
just like Windows, folks. Just like Windows. Now remember, it's going to run slower. It's running inside of my Windows. But if you want a good way to test out Linux, try it out. See what it'll do. Uh, I can't think of a better way of doing that than uh, how we're doing it right now. Uh, let's see something there. Let's just check out. my channel this way no copyright problems oh yeah there it is and uh oh, check out the camera comparison here uh, oh we'll see how it looks I remember this is going to run at 480 because we're pulling this down through AT&T. And, mm. Hi folks, Tim here from High and Cheap Tech and today we're going to do a quick camera comparison between the Mobile G3, a budget phone, with a 13 megapixel camera. I know it looks a little jerky right now, but the uh, problem there is because I have a ton of stuff open. Uh, the Alcatel 7. And of so course we're sharing... Like everything. So we're going to let that pause. And minimize it. The point is, Chromium works, YouTube works, and it really does work well normally. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and edit this video. Put it up on the web and uh, just say, if you find it useful, informative or simply boring either give it a thumbs up thumbs down leave some feedback say hi if you're a Linux fan tell me what I can do to make Linux even better uh, I haven't exactly figured out how to get the display full screen obviously but I'll catch you in the next one so have a great day. Thanks for watching. He said, is it?